Hi guys, I'm Soumya and I'm back again with another video. I hope you're well and safe. If you are an old subscriber, then welcome back. And if you are new to this channel, then I make a lot of bookish content. So if you are a book lover and a reader or would like to become one, then do hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon. So in today's video, I'm going to review a book which was sent to me by the author and that book is A Love So Special by Deepak Srivastav. So let's get into the video. A Love So Special is a story of Nikhil and his family. They live in Bangalore and Nikhil is married to Neha. They have two children named Raghu and Rhea. Raghu is a specially able child and he is 8 years old but his brain is like that of a 3 year old child and Rhea is 12 years old. So because of Raghu's condition, Nikhil and his family are seldom able to go out for vacations or even for outings and because of this, Nikhil and Neha often end up arguing with each other. Nikhil is a very loving father and he goes out of his way to take care of Raghu uncomplainingly. Nikhil and Raghu share a very special bond. Raghu considers Nikhil to be his hero and he even calls him Spider-Man. Nikhil's wife Neha is a supportive and a caring mother and she loves Raghu a lot but she stays depressed because of his condition. And then Raghu's sister Rhea also loves Raghu a lot. They share a very special bond. Although at the tender age of 12, Rhea sometimes is not able to grasp the seriousness of Raghu's condition. Raghu is a sweet and an innocent child but he is obviously unaware of the sadness and discontentment that his family feels. Nevertheless, on the whole, they are a loving family. Finally, Nikhil and Neha decide that Raghu's condition is not Rhea's fault and that she should not have to miss out on her vacations. So they plan to go to Shimla from Bangalore by train. So during the journey, when the train halts at one of the stations, Raghu gets separated from his family and they are devastated and they start searching for him frantically. So in this search for Raghu, some unexpected revelations come to the fore. Will they be able to find Raghu? Will Raghu reunite with his family? That is the story. The story is believable and the characters are realistic. I personally know families where there are similar situations and the challenges that they face are exactly the same as have been described in this story. The emotional turmoils and the traumas faced by both Neha and Nikhil are very aptly described and also are very moving to read. The overall pace of the story is good. I do feel that the prologue of the story is a bit stretched. However, the story gains momentum from chapter 1 onwards. The main theme in the story is that of familial love and bonding. The power and willingness to sacrifice that is a part of the parental love has been portrayed beautifully in the story. For me personally, the highlight of the story is the special bond between Nikhil and Raghu, the unflinching faith that Raghu has on his father Nikhil and the unconditional love that Nikhil has for his son Raghu is very emotional to read about. In addition to all of this, we also get some thrill and action in the story. The writing in this book is easy to follow but it does have its flaws. So the descriptions in this book get a bit detailed sometimes because of which reading this book is a bit of a challenge. I mean we are able to follow the story but it's not exactly what you call effortless. The editing in this book is kind of lazy to be honest. Incorrect sentence construction and wrong usage of expressions are off-putting. Also, I will concede that there are parts in this book that are written nicely but then lack of refinement in other parts of the book really impact the overall reading experience negatively. For me, this is a good story and it has likeable characters but it could have been better had the language in this story not been a weak point. If I talk about the story alone, it did make me want to know what was going to happen next. In terms of the story, I did not feel like putting this book down. I wanted to know how the story was going to end. So definitely the story did have a grip on me as a reader. In conclusion, I would like to say that this is a gripping read and it can make you emotional but at the same time it needs polishing as well. So this is definitely a story driven book. If you are a beginner reader and if you are not that particular about the language in a book then you can go for a love so special by Deepak Srivastava because this story has drama, emotions, action, thrill and surprises here and there as well. That's it. That was my honest review of a love so special by Deepak Srivastava. If you want to get your hands on this book then the link will be in the description box. I hope you found this review useful. If you want to connect with me on my social media the links are in the description box. I'll see you in my next video. Till then bye bye. Take care and stay safe.